Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Touch 31 In this video, we're going to be doing a review of the Connect Reflex Dock Pro that was sent out to me free for review by ConnectOnline.com. The link will be in the description below, but let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Like I said, we've got a review of the Conant Reflex Dock Pro. Now, this is an awesome dock. Um, it comes with so many things, and I'll explain more of it in a second here. But before I explain anything, let me just show you the packaging it comes in. It comes in some pretty nice packaging. Here's the front over here. I'm not going to read anything off. The side over here, you can see. And then back, it says what it's compatible with. That's outdated. It's compatible with a lot more than that. Another picture. It also will come with an instruction manual. A a sinking, hold on, let me, here we go, uh, not a sinking thing, uh, AV cables, I believe, to hook up to your TV, so you'll be able to, uh, watch videos, obviously, and then you'll also come with this, and, uh, you plug this into your, uh, computer and this into the dock, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just take a look at the dock first before I show you the, more of the cables. We've got the dock right here, obviously, we've got Conet right here, I hope I'm saying the name right, and then you've got the sinking uh, let me see if I can get a better light in here. Lighting is like messed up. But anyways, you got Conet right here. You got your, uh, where you put your iPod in right here. And then you've also got your, uh, rubber stoppers right here, which will prevent your device from getting scratched. Because right here it is pretty sharp. And the back of this isn't very, uh, soft, so it will, it could get scratched. So they decided to put three rubber little stoppers things right there so it doesn't get scratched. Here they come out the back. On the back, we've got your connector, so you can connect the um, the video cable, which is right here. You connect this right there, just like that. You just put it in, and then you connect this, which is the sinking cable, right here. Now, this one's kind of hard to get in, because let me show you before I even uh, uh, start putting it in. You can see right there that mine is like a little bit off. Now, I'm not sure if that's just with mine, or if that's, oh, you can see me there, I'm not sure if that's just with mine, or um, if that's with everybody's, but that's interesting. So, to put it in, it's really simple, you just gotta find out which way it goes in, so there we've got the flat one on top, so we're gonna wanna, I think it's this way, again, it's hard to get in, maybe it's upside down, no, there we go. Okay, but yeah, so now we got the cables in here, and now let me just show you all the devices that it works for. We've got the fourth generation iPod right here. You can plug this into it, and it'll work, and you can sync and watch a video. You've also got the second generation touch, that'll also work for this. You've got the fifth generation nano, which will also work for it. And then the sixth generation nano, which will also work for it. Now, this will also work for the iPhone 4, 3GS, and 3G. It'll also work for the iPod Touch third generation. And I believe the iPod Touch first generation will also work for the iPod Nano third generation, fourth generation. And it will also work for the iPod Classic. So, that's really good that it works for everything. And um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the video cables now. Okay, so I got my TV right in front of me here. And I've got my fourth generation iPod plugged into the, um, the dock itself. But one more thing I want to say before um, we show, we'll show you the video is that these obviously are not HD cables so if you have an HD TV the quality isn't gonna look HD it's gonna look really bad there might be you might be able to upgrade on their website or buy something else online but um, I didn't see any so maybe in the future they'll have a reflex dock pro 2 that's, that has HD or maybe they'll be able to buy cables that you can plug in and you can see it HD I'll go ahead and plug this into the TV now and you can see how it works okay so once it's plugged in basically you're just gonna wanna turn your iPod on then you're going to want to go over to your videos, or music videos. I'm just going to go to videos. And then you're going to want to pick a video. So I'm just going to pick my iPad 2 trailer remix. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and click the annotation on screen. As you can see, it'll start playing on the TV here. We can fast forward. Just like that, we can rewind. Just like that, we can pause. Play. We can adjust the volume here. Um, where do I adjust the volume? Why isn't it popping up? Well, before I could adjust the volume, for some reason it's not popping You can up. also fast forward, so if I play it and hold it down, you can fast forward here. 
And then it's just really nice to be able to watch it on your TV. But yeah, one, one thing that I don't like about this is obviously I would love to see HD. That'd be great if you could have HD in it. But that is going to be a big selling point and um, against other people who make docs, it's going to be a big selling point being able to connect this to your TV. One con about this thing is that you might notice already um, that I said earlier in the video, you might have noticed this, but this isn't a 30 pin dock connector. So this could be a problem. So let's say you want to bring your dock with on a trip and you want to be able to use this dock, but you have an iPad too. And let's say you just bring the dock with because you forget your cable and you think, yeah, I can just charge my iPad with this. Well, you can't because as you can see here, this is not a 30-pin uh, dock connector and you just plug this into your computer and then this goes into the actual device itself right here and you can't fit an iPad on here that could be a problem um, I think it would be a lot better if they just gave you a 30-pin dock connector and you could just plug it in there but they don't so you know it's really simple you just plug it into your TV though or your TV you plug it into your laptop and then you take your device and you just put it on and then it connects right away instantly. That's awesome. And it looks great. I mean, it's great, 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 great. It looks great. It looks awesome on a desk, especially on my desk. It looks best on my desk, I think. Better than my Sinju Morrison stand. That could be a competitor for this uh, dock. But this dock is awesome. It retails for, I think, $50 on their website. So let's go ahead and take a look at their website, actually, here. But yeah, it just looks great. Conit dock. Want to see a little bit more of it? Zoom in on it a little bit here. One more thing that it has before we go in and check the pricing is that it also has rubber, three rubber feet or like stoppers down here so it doesn't move around on your desk right here so it, you know nobody can bump it off and you got some information of course on the bottom too. Taking a look at ConnetOnline.com we will be good with their main page here. The website URL is ConnetOnline.com We have a very large selection here. All you're going to want to do is go to products, mobile, mobile entertainment, then go to docking. When we go to docking though, we'll have the R Cardio Plus or Cradio, uh, the R Cradio Plus, the Reflex Dock Plus, and the Re Reflex Dock Pro. I got the Reflex Dock Pro, so go ahead and click on that one. If we click on Reflex Dock Pro, we'll be greeted with Reflex Dock Pro. And we'll have a whole bunch of features that it comes with. Again, mostly I covered most of this stuff, probably not all of it. And then we also have what's inside. And then we'll have what it's compatible with, and then we'll have the price down here. This is a $50 product, so if you're going to be spending $50 on a dock, you want to make sure that that's something you really want. Again, there's, this could be a big competitor with since it doesn't have that 30-pin um, dock connector cable. That could be a big downfall for somebody who wants to buy it. This could also be a big downfall for somebody who has an HD TV and wants to connect it to HD video. But overall, it's still a great, great dock. I highly recommend it. It looks great. It's awesome. It has so many features. It's packed into one little dock. I recommend go checking it out. And yeah. So that's basically the review of the Conant Reflex Dock Pro from ConantOnline.com. They were nice enough to send me out this free for the review and my rechargeable uh, external battery that just box just fell over over there. They were nice enough to send me out those two things to review. Be sure to look for that review on your subscription box or on my channel. That's what it comes with. It comes with your AV cables to watch videos on, a syncing cable, and then the dock itself. It also comes with a user manual, and that's it. So it's a great rig product. Their link will be in the description below. Thank you, Kana Online, for sending this out free to review. If I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize. That's it. See you guys later. Please thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment on this video. And if you really like this video, go ahead and favorite it. It helps me out a lot. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.